Hey guys and welcome to the Urban Jungle. My name is Julia and today I will take you on a shopping spree in Munich. So if you're looking for some gifts that are different from the typical Bavarian themed souvenirs, then keep watching. I will introduce you to six of my favorite places to shop for you and your loved ones. Our first stop is at Ludwig Beck which is located right next to the famous Marienplatz. The well-assorted department store was found in 1861 and carries fashion and beauty items for both men and women. But today we are heading to their special indoor Christmas market. Between a variety of really beautiful Christmas tree decorations, you can also find traditional wooden nutcrackers and Räuchermännchen, incense smokers in form of cute little figurines. Walking from Marienplatz to Stachus, we quickly arrive at our next stop, Oberpollinger. Similar to Ludwig Beck, Oberpollinger is also a department store, but on a more expensive level. You will find luxury handbags, jewelry and perfumes on the first floor. Even if your price range is different, it is nice to just stroll around and have a look. Of course, there is more to shop on the other floors. Besides fashion, accessories and beauty products, you can find a houseware and luggage section. The Oberpollinger is the largest department store in southern Germany, so bring a little time. If you're feeling hungry from walking, just go all the way up to the fifth floor, where you will find a restaurant and cafes. When the weather is nice, I recommend to enjoy your food on the rooftop terrace. Okay, enough fashion for today. Let's go for something completely different. We start our walk at the Sendlinger Tor towards the Marienplatz. The buildings here are just so beautiful. For all the chefs among us, there is Gewürze der Welt, spices of the world, and there is literally nothing you cannot get. And if you're not that skilled yet, get a cooking book or ask the friendly staff for recommendations which spices fit together best. Look at all the different kinds of pepper. Our next stop is also around the corner, Depot. It is right in the center of the Hofstadt shopping mall, so you will pass some interesting shops as you go. Are you also a person like me that can't go without buying anything in such home goods stores? 
This fake lambskin is too cozy. There is other depots in Munich, but I personally find this one to be the best and biggest. And yes, you can smell the fragrances through your mask. Also a few minutes away is the heaven for all stationery and office supplies fans. If you get your postcards here, you can directly write them, buy stamps and bring them to the post office downstairs. No matter if you want to buy something funny or useful, you will probably find your cup of tea. Do you really wanna leave me all alone tonight? Don't make me chase you until the moonlight. Baby, I don't wanna have to go another night. But don't you I have to admit, I was really fascinated by the assortment of colored pencils. Not only is Faber Castell the world's biggest producer of pencils and colored pencils, but also a traditional German brand founded in 1761. From stationary heaven to chocolate paradise. Our last stop is quite hidden in the basement of Galeria Kaufhof. At first glance it looks like a normal department store, but the chain is known for its delicatessen in the Galeria Markthalle. And look at all this chocolate! You will get every brand you have heard of and so many more. My personal highlight is the pick and mix station, only that I can't decide what I want. Let me know in the comments down below which place you liked the most and share your recommendations for a Munich shopping spree. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content. As always, stay healthy, stay safe and see you in the next one. Bye!